Welcome to CEOs in Cars, a BC business video series sponsored by the Delwari Group of Companies in which we drive around in high-performance cars with British Columbia's equally high-performing CEOs. My name is Tom Garzimchuk and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of BC Business Magazine. Today, I'm excited to spend the morning driving around Vancouver with Robert Fung, President of real estate development firm The Salient Group one of British Columbia's most innovative development companies and a major force behind turning Gastown into Vancouver's hottest neighborhood. Today, he's developing another historic area, this time southeast of Vancouver in the city of New Westminster. That's where he decided to take his test drive of the 2014 Jaguar F-Type S, the first roadster from Jaguar in 40 years and built with a 3.0 supercharged V6 engine that purrs out 380 horses that produce acceleration of 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in under 5 seconds. Hey! Robert, good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Very nice. Yeah, can't go wrong. Well, I guess you can. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to be careful. <laughs> What was your first car? You know what, I had a dune buggy, so hacked together Volkswagen fiberglass piece of crap that was so much fun in high school. What what kind like what was the what was the model? It was off of an old bug. Oh. Right? An old beetle uh, frame. And in Toronto, you know, dune buggy is about the least practical vehicle, but it was it was a lot of fun and I was kind of windsurfing up in um, Collingwood and so it was uh, it was great. Recently, the Vancouver Museum gave you uh, an Emerging Visionary Award. Um, what is your, your vision of the city as far as, as far as real estate and development goes? Well, first of all, it was very, very flattering and humbling to get that award because, uh, I mean, there are a lot of visionaries in Vancouver. We've got such a creative base. It's, it's an exciting city. I think the biggest thing that uh, it, I am always looking for is what Vancouver's place is in the world. I think that's going to set the tone for where we go in real estate. You know, how we build out is going to largely be dependent on what our economy is and, um, and where we fit in in the big scheme of things. What is it about Gastown and what is it about any neighborhood, uh, frankly, to, uh, that, that really generates that creative DNA for, for businesses to, uh, to excel in? It really comes down to the fact that um, our creative people are um, are individuals. Right? They've got an individual sense of self, and they tend to be drawn to areas that are uh, distinct. And there are a lot of places in Vancouver that are becoming less and less distinct, just in terms of how they build out. Where's the next gas town, as far as you're concerned? When we were working on gas town, people would say, "Oh, this feels like it could be Vancouver Soho, or it could be the equivalent of." South Market, and I think you know whether it's uh, Gastown or whether it's downtown New Westminster. What's important about those places is uh, is what where they came from. What we're talking about has to do with with history, with, with almost anthropology. Can you uh, talk a little bit about your your degree in anthropology and how that served you? Well, I don't know that I was really that great a student, but I think. That my, my interest in, uh, in history and people and, uh, uh, and the way people lived informs how I uh, look at the projects, which is really trying to create a, you know, a sense of community. So every time we do a project, the goal is not just to build a building, but to, to work within that community, try and understand it, and propose a project that's going to be a strong contributor to it. All these neighborhoods are wonderful neighborhoods, but it's as they evolve, can you densify and still keep the character, still keep neighborhood character, and still keep the spirit of where these places came from? This thing is fantastic. Yeah, I was going to say, let's just, yeah. let's just, let's let's just, just forget sort of, talking shop and just enjoy the speed. Had a little bit of a feel for it. Yeah, it's unbelievable how smooth it is. BC Business is picking up the ticket if we get one. So. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know how you'll get my points back. That's <laughs> true. Sure. Are you alright driving around with the top down? Oh yeah. Yeah, nice. Am I alright? <laughs> Thank you.
I know. We should have called the series CEOs in Traffic. Well, yeah, you get to see how people deal with uh, having 388 horsepower, uh, but still stuck in 20 mile per hour traffic. This is, this, is, this is some sort of like psychology experiment waiting to be picked up by UBC, I think. Exactly.